Qareen, your personal demon in Islam. Today is the day when you learn something extra dimensional about your personality from the reference of Islam. If you are an enthusiast about the parallel dimension or the paranormal beings, then you will find this video very interesting and fulfilling for your curiosity appetite. What is Qareen? Have you ever heard about it? No? Let me tell you. Karin's literal meaning is a constant companion. Now, as the word describes, it is a constant double of the human in either the spiritual form, that is an extra dimensional, or maybe a part of the human himself. For its classification, you can say that it comes under the category of jinn or jinnat. Now, there are many different references that circulate for the validation of this Karin species. And these references include but are not limited to first of all the verse in Surah Zukhruf that states and whosoever turns away from remembering and mentioning the most beneficent we appoint for him a Satan to be a Karin to him. Now the verse in Surah as Safar that states a speaker among them will say indeed I had a Karin. Now there are many other references and you can read about them on your own. Now the jinns and humans have the free will to choose whatever path they want to. Now some of the jinns they choose to be on the evil side and are called as shayateen. They misuse their freedom and will eventually find their place in hellfire. But while they do so they take it upon themselves to entice a human towards evil as well. Now a particular shaitan chooses a particular human and then becomes his or her constant companion. That shaitan is called the Kareen of that human and it is then the Kareen's own choice to do evil instead of doing good. So as the Prophet said in Sahih Muslim, every person has a shaitan and an angel with him as constant companions. Now, naturally you will start to think that we have a personal vendetta that is coming alongside us on every path of our way. And that specific vendetta is seducing us to do evil. But try to look deeper and understand the hikmat in it. Everything in this universe is created by Allah and it follows the way Allah guides it too. So, actually the power is vested in the human himself. For if he or she wants to go astray, then welcome to the team Kareen. And if he or she decides to go to the path of righteous, then welcome to the team Angel. Now there is a reference in this illustration of the both teams. Allah says in chapter 14 verse 4, God lets go astray him that wills to go astray and guides him that wills to be guided for he alone is almighty, truly wise. That was all the information from my side today. If you have any questions or if you want us to continue making videos on such topics, then we welcome you to Team Everlastings and would like your feedback in the comment section. Thank you.